Well, with all those latest fees being tacked on to big banks that you've been hearing about for months now, some of you have decided to go take your money somewhere else, like a credit union. Well, we want to see exactly how many people in New Mexico are doing this, and we want to break down the differences between a bank and a credit union that a lot of you are asking questions about. So here are the answers with David Romero. A few dollars here, a few dollars there. Before you know it, it all adds up. I think people are fed up with the banks, the fees, and I think they've forgotten why they are in business. When many banks started adding on fees for using debit cards, many customers responded with an uproar. Some customers said, I cannot afford an additional fee. Based upon today's economy, I'm going through tough times. You know, a lot of people are unemployed. Bank customers are no different than credit union customers. So uh, our members like to have a say so in what happens. And as a member of a credit union, of course, they own a piece of that credit union and they do have a say so. With banks, they don't. But banks say they also have something to offer. And I'm proud of what we do here in New Mexico. We are the largest um, bank in terms of 96 locations in 53 different communities. We clearly offer convenience. So the customer really needs to decide what works best for them. Some of the big banks have either done away with the charges or backed off by having customers do things to avoid them. Still, some hidden fees lurk in the fine print, such as charges for not maintaining sufficient balances. We make our money up on interest on loans. We do charge some fees on some accounts for some services, uh, but generally they're at greatly reduced rates from what the banks are charging for those same services. The bottom line difference between banks and credit unions is ownership. Credit unions are member owned. We don't have stockholders putting pressure on our bottom line. In a tough economy, many are saving their pennies any way they can. We've been telling people it's okay if you want to open an account at a bank. But try credit union because I think you're going to find that not only are we a lot cheaper, we're just as friendly, if not more so. David Romero, KRQE News 13. Now, as of yesterday, Wells Fargo, Chase, and now Bank of America have all announced plans that they're going to scrap testing those extra debit card fees and not put them into place to begin with.